Hi, um, just wanted to come to you guys today. Uh, you know, I haven't been feeling that well, but um, I am getting better. Um, I've still got the black eye. Um, it's more painful today than it was yesterday, but that's okay. That's to be expected. Um, I'm really pleased with the outcome so far, and I'm sure that um, we're on the right track now. So that's the main thing. Um, so one of the things I really wanted to share with you is um, for about, I guess, almost three months, I've been saving to get something that I think is really awesome. Um, it's funny, my friend and I have been talking about this. Um, I guess I'll show you what it is first. That would make more sense. Um, Ta-da! This is the Inspire Large Print Edition. Yeah, quit laughing. <laughs> um, I got it, one, because it's easier and because of my eye issues. But it's the Large Print Edition, and it's a journaling Bible. Um, it is NLT, and I know I should know what that stands for. But I can't think of it right now, so I can't tell you, but it's a Bible for creative journaling and it's Inspire Large Print Edition um, and it's just beautiful. Uh, the funny part of this story goes, um, I had seen quite a few videos on YouTube where people do Bible journaling and they make such a beautiful job and I have wanted to learn more about my Bible um, for quite some time now and I don't seem to get very far with it. Um, and I read that a journaling Bible, as well as a study Bible, might help. Um, so I didn't know what I thought about that. And I called my best friend, <laughs> and we had this major discussion about writing or drawing or anything in a Bible. And she had never heard of such a thing. And her and I both kind of came to the conclusion that we didn't think we liked that, really. Well, then the more I looked into it and the more I watched the videos, um, I've come to realize that for me, I think it's going to help. I think it'll help to teach me. Um, the, the journaling videos that I have seen um, explain how when you're, you read a verse and whatever it means to you, if you feel like writing something down or drawing something, then you do. And that's your personal time. Um, you still are reflecting on what verse you read, and it's your time to spend with God however you want to do it. Um, so as I say, it took me about three months, but I did save for this, and oh, it is so beautiful. Like, look at the, it's just, like, how beautiful is that? They do have the um, regular non-large print version. <laughs> <laughs> and um, actually the outside of that one is the same as this box only it's a soft I don't think it's leather but it's like leather soft um, it's not this blue it's the actual print but it is smaller and I figure right now um, going bigger is better for my eyes anyway I just want to show you a little bit about this like look at how gorgeous that is like the detail is just beautiful and you can either color it or not color it, um, whatever you want. Like, and it's just, I can't believe how beautiful it is. Um, and each, I hope I say this right, um, because I don't know my Bible, but I believe each one is called a book. I don't mean the by I don't mean the Bible is a book. I mean, um, like Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Each one of those has a title page, which you can color if you want. Some of the pages have, like, some of this that you can color or leave. It's also got um, margins that you can make your own, um, whatever you're feeling, your own interpretation of maybe what you've read. Um, and this is all the way through the book, like, I just can't believe how beautiful this is. Um, I want to get into it, of course, but I do want to make sure that my eyes are better. Um, like, just look. 
Oh, that's what I said when I was meaning the book. They all have like the start of the book, um, a banner or something. Mm, they're just so, so beautiful. And if you look on YouTube, like the pages are fairly thin and I was worried about bleed through. Um, pencil crayons, watercolors, uh, most of that doesn't bleed through. But if you were worried about that and only wanted to make 100% sure it was going to not bleed through, you can get gesso. Um, it's just a... It's just just so that you coat your page with first and then you're a hundred percent sure that it won't bleed through. But from what I've seen on YouTube videos, um, there's hardly any bleed through at all. Um, now mind you, if you're using something different, like a, I don't know, like a Sharpie marker or something like that, that might bleed through. But, um, as I say, watercolor pencils, pastels, acrylic paint, uh, watercolor paint it shows all of that um, that can go through and it's just beautiful I just love it very much now mind you I do still have my dad's Bible and it's funny because I would never dream of ever writing or underlining or anything in his Bible um, not because um, not really because it's a Bible, but because it was his Bible. So it has sentimental um, value to me. And as well as it is a Bible. But this one is specifically for journaling. Um, so I think that makes a difference. Um, and if you felt uncomfortable with it, I know a lot of people, well, including myself, that's why I called my friend about it. Um, a lot of people are uncomfortable with writing in their Bible, but what I've heard done too is you can have a journaling Bible for when um, your heart is drawn to do something and you feel um, that you want to make something artistic and just keep it at home or keep it wherever you want. But if you have your church Bible that you would never dream of doing that and to, well, that's fine too. You can keep that as your church Bible I don't think there's a right and a wrong mind you that being said um, it did take me a while I wasn't sure and when I first heard of it um, <laughs> we had quite the discussion first here at home and then I took it to my best friends and called her right away and said okay here's what I'm thinking what do you think and we had the same views um we're both uh well, she's 50 and I'm 51, but it was the same thing. Oh, no, you don't do that. But now that I have read more and seen more, um, there's lots of beautiful illustrations on YouTube. Uh, one of my favorites that I watch is uh, Bible Journaling by Monica. She is just, she does a beautiful job. She explains everything to you. Um, she when she does show you one of her pieces or one of her art, um, she explains where it came from, like what her heart was feeling at the time um, and what led her to draw or color that certain um, certain way that she did. Um, as I say, this is the large print. It is the same price as the um, regular print, which I thought was really different. I did get it from Amazon. Um, I did call a, a local Bible store here um, and they said it, they'd have to order it in and it would cost the same. So I did do the Amazon. But to me, I think because it's a journaling Bible and it's not going to go, like I'm mostly going to have it on my desk when I'm doing stuff. I think I'm really glad that I went with the large print, not just because I can't see that great, but also the illustrations are larger. Of course, they have to be because it's a larger book, right? But I just think it's nicer. But anyway, that is my that is my cheery in the amount of yucky <laughs> that I've had for a while. Um, the pain in the eyes happened, would you believe, six weeks ago? And um, I'm just now feeling better. Yesterday was better than today. But that's okay. Um, 
as I say that's bound to happen and I'll just close my eyes more today but I did want to get this um, shown because I want you to see what I'm excited about and because I haven't posted for a while and I do want to keep my subscribers also if you're seeing this for the first time and you like it um, please subscribe down below the more subscribers I get the better it is um, I'm at 38 now uh, when I get to 50 I will be doing a giveaway um, nothing extravagant but a little something to say thank you mind you I thank all of you for being part of my subscribers and listening to me sometimes ramble or go on and on <laughs> um, I do appreciate it and um, this is something for y'all to think about um, and I'd be interested to know what you think if you want to leave a comment and tell me how you feel about um, journaling in your Bible or journaling in a Bible or what you feel about journal Bibles um, in a whole like whether you think it's what you think I know we all have our own opinions and that's the great part about you know having having a relationship with the Lord it's what you decide and um, it's just a wonderful thing so yeah be sure and let me know what you think and thanks for subscribing and God bless you all